Crazy Cody's Creatures, Capybara Dental Care. What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be talking about something a lot of people ask me about, and that's Capybara Teeth. Capybaras are the world's largest rodent, and like all rodents, their teeth are constantly growing throughout their entire lives. If they don't wear them down, they can suffer serious health problems or even be killed by their teeth. So let's first talk about the mouth structure of the capybara. Capybaras have four incisors in the front of their mouth. They have a gap called a diastema between their front incisors and their cheek teeth. And capybaras also have these cheek teeth in the back of their mouth that they use to chew down food. Now, capybaras' cheek teeth are occlusual morphology, and what that means is the way their teeth come together to chew on food changes throughout the course of their life. So from the time they're a baby to the time they're adult, their teeth will be a little bit different, but the idea is pretty much the same. They're just trying to chew, chew, chew to get food down as small as possible in order for them to get the most nutrients out of it. Capybaras also have very long roots in their teeth. You can see in this old x-ray of Jojo that the roots of his teeth extend all the way down to the bottom of his jaw. Now, for the most part, capybaras wear their teeth down just by eating. <laughs> eating foods that are very high in fiber, like grass or bamboo or hay, helps wear their teeth down. You can see in this video here that capybaras thoroughly chew their food before swallowing it. Now because capybaras chew their food up so much, when they're eating food that's not so high in fiber, such as kale, they drool a lot. They'll also drool a little bit if they're eating fresh grass that has a high moisture content in it as well. Since they over chew it, the extra moisture kind of just drips out of their mouth because they have that gap between their incisors and their cheek teeth. Now even though capybaras wear their teeth down most of the time just by chewing on their food, they still have an urge to chew on other things. Now they're pretty particular on what they like chewing on, and what they like chewing on the most is things that are super hard, like rocks or sand. Here's a video of Jojo chewing on sand while he's out in the backyard playing in the mud. I also used to get Jojo these chew rocks that they make for small animals and birds. He really loved to chew on these things and would spend hours just chewing away the corners and like kind of smoothing it out. He was able to chew them down over the course of a few days and get them into a shape that he really liked and could fit into his mouth. Now the other thing was kind of weird, when Jojo got the chew stone down very small, he used to put the whole thing in his mouth and just kind of chew on it and move it around, which is kind of freaky to look at because he would use his tongue and his jaw to kind of like position it in the way he wanted and it kind of looked like he was choking, but he really wasn't. He was just trying to position it so that way he could chew on it better. If you want to get one of these for your small animal, I'll have them in my Amazon store with the description down below. Now another thing Jojo would chew on from time to time, which was kind of weird, was bones. Uh, the dogs would leave them somewhere, Jojo would come over, pick them up, bring them over to his bed, start chewing on them, and then realize that it wasn't his chew rock, and then kind of give up on it. Like he would try and chew on a little bit, but it obviously wasn't something he enjoyed chewing. He thought it was his chew rock just because it was hard. Now we did have wood in the house for Jojo to chew on if he wanted to. We had these logs next to the fireplace, but he never showed any interest in chewing on wood. Now one thing people ask me all the time is if Jojo chewed up the furniture since he's a large rodent living in the house. And the answer was no. He never chewed on the couch. He never chewed on any of his beds. He didn't really chew on any of that stuff. One thing he did chew on from time to time was the carpet, which was kind of weird. Uh, it was just the green carpet he would chew on. And it wasn't so much like he needed to chew on it. He only ever did it in front of me. He probably did it maybe 15 times total. And it was really more to try and just get my attention. Hey. Hey. No! But one thing I really had to take care of was cords. That was one thing he would go out of his way to chew on. This speaker here wasn't a real speaker. It wasn't plugged in or anything. It was just there to block the cord of our robot vacuum, Neato. Another thing we had to do was hide all the cords behind the TV. We had these baskets with DVDs in it here that used to hide all the cords. And these baskets were big enough to turn that he didn't try to get at the cords. So one thing other capybara owners will message me on is a capybara's broken tooth. It's totally normal, and they do this one to two times a year. Capybaras usually break their teeth off at the gum line, and over the years, I've acquired a small collection of these capybara front incisors. Another weird thing about it, too, is that their incisors grow back incredibly quickly. Here's a picture taken a few days after to show how much growth they've got. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. On the right, we have Jojo yawning with all four teeth, and on the left, we have Jojo yawning as well, but he's missing his top two incisors. Another thing too, Jojo would lose his incisors at different times. We could see here in this old video of him swimming, he only has teeth on his right side. 
On his left side, he only has a nub of the top left incisor. Again, you can see from this angle, it's a little blurry, but he has a little bit of his right incisor growing in. His bottom right incisor, it's gone. Here's another video of Jojo after he's lost his bottom right incisor. You can see in this video, Jojo is sticking his tongue out through the gap where his incisor was that had broken off. In this clip here, you can see Jojo has lost all of his teeth except for his bottom left incisor. Now after Jojo would lose his front incisors, he would get kind of weird. He would come up to me and try and suck on my fingers. He only ever did this the first couple of days after he'd lost his teeth, but after they started growing in, he stopped completely. I'm not sure if this is an instinctive behavior to form a stronger bond because he's lost his front teeth. In the wild, if a capybara lost his front teeth, they would need more protection. And so he may have to form a stronger bond with the leader in case of a predator. He's not gonna be able to defend himself. Now, Juju losing his teeth wasn't really that random. He would go for months with these nice, straight, healthy teeth like this, to then having his teeth quickly overgrow and start to bend like this. There used to be a show called The Angry Beavers, and in it, Daggett and Norbert stop chewing on wood and their teeth get super long and start bending. In the episode, their teeth get crazy long and they start choking them out and it becomes a huge problem. And the lesson learned is they need to chew on wood in order to keep their teeth down because they're rodents. Kept bars are rodents as well, and when their teeth get too long, they just break off. Unlike other species of rodent where the teeth can actually grow and kill them, like a beaver can, the capybara has evolved to a way to just break their teeth off if they get too long. So yeah, that's everything you need to know about capybara dental care. If you have any questions about it, you can leave them in the comment section below. I try and read and reply to everybody's comments. Uh, if you liked the video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, you can give it a thumbs down. I also plan on doing more of these educational or informational or storytelling type videos like this one here in the future. I'll still be uploading lots of, you know, just random animal videos that you guys seem to really enjoy. But I want to kind of share my knowledge that I've acquired throughout my life about animals. Thank you for watching. I upload videos every day, so I will see you guys tomorrow.